All right, a couple other things then to announce. Uh, as I hinted, I've completed my analysis of privacy-oriented cryptocurrency and decentralized finance. And uh, I'm happy to announce today that our store, healthrangerstore.com, which I have up on my screen here, our store will be integrating uh, very shortly here the ability to pay for our products using Epic Cash. Uh, in addition, we'll, we will be accepting, um, soon after that, we'll be accepting other cryptocurrencies. Uh, there's, the, there's the site for Epic Cash there. We'll be accepting Monero. We'll be accepting Bitcoin. We'll be accepting... Uh, some other coins, uh, Ethereum and so on. I don't have a final list right now, but this is depending on uh, an integration with an, an IO company and a, kind of a, a, a wallet integrator. And we are happy to do this because, of course, it's nobody's business what you buy. And when it comes to food right now, you know, food rationing is about to kick in in America. Your banks don't give you control over your own money. And you can be denied on a credit card purchase if they don't like the merchant, which just happened to me recently. Uh, banks are not allowing you to withdraw as much money as you want. They're not allowing you to send wires that you want. They're not even allowing you to write checks that you want. I've experienced that recently again, too, where we're trying to issue donation checks, half a million dollars in donations going out the door. And then the company freezes the whole thing and says, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fraud flag. We... We can't let you send those checks out because we're not sure if it's if it's fraud or not. And so they hold everything up. You can't get anything done in regular banking. Okay, the, the regular banking system is a nightmare. It is a collapsing mess. The banks' record withdrawals are taking place. The banks will continue to collapse this year. The dollar is losing value. The central bank is a criminal front group, uh, like a financial cartel. It's, it's going to be printed into oblivion. There's no scarcity on the dollar. There's no limit. They're just going to keep printing until it goes to zero at some point. Uh, we have to have a better system of money. Well, I've looked at every kind of money. I've considered them all. Uh, gold, fiat cash, bank account money, Bitcoin, Epic, Monero, Zcash, Pirate Chain, Ethereum. Uh, I've looked at others too, like Polkadot and whatever. And I've come to the conclusion through my weighted scoring system right here, which maybe you can't read from there, but... My weighted scoring system has arrived at the following conclusion. Uh, based on the following properties of money, number one being privacy, that money should be private because it's nobody's business. As RFK Jr. recently said, it's nobody's business how you spend your money or even how much money you have. You know, you earned it. You already paid taxes on it. You want to keep it in some super secret private digital vault. That's your business, right? That's your business. So privacy is number one. And then other criteria that I ranked here on my scoring system is that it's confiscation proof. The government can't take it from you, right? They can take everything out of your bank account, but they can't take Epic Cash or other privacy coins if they don't know they exist. They can't take it. Uh, I'm talking about transaction transmissibility, the ability to easily transmit money, to send it, to receive it, to make a donation. Hey, what if I want to donate to Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s uh, campaign, but I don't want everybody in the world knowing that I donated, let's say, or if I want to donate to Trump? Same story, right? Well, RFK is accepting Bitcoin as campaign donations, by the way. First candidate to do that. I applaud that. Well, if, but if I want my donation to be purely private, I would want to donate with Epic Cash or, or Monero, by the way. You know, some kind of coin that actually has built-in privacy. Uh, the other criteria are uh, permissionless portability. That's a term I came up with. Permissionless portability means that you have the ability to just move this money or take it with you without asking for anybody's permission. No one can stop you. You don't need approvals. You don't need stamps. You don't have to apply, blah, blah, blah. It's your money. You can take it with you. Uh, a store of value, scalability, these are some other properties, censorship proof, accessibility, the ease of getting into it and out of it, fungibility, so that every coin is the same as every other coin and coins can't be tainted, which unfortunately with Bitcoin, the coins can be tainted, uh, and recognizability. So do people recognize this as a kind of store of value, as a kind of money? So if you, if you take all those criteria together, uh, physical gold is, is pretty strong on a lot of these, and it rates 64 on my current 
chart, which may be updated, by the way. I'm still pondering all these numbers, but gold is about a 64. Uh, a bank account with money in it rates 33. It sucks. You have no privacy. The government can take it. They can seize it at any time. You can't move it without permission. You know, it's horrible. Uh, money in a bank is almost useless money at this point. Uh, let's see. Bitcoin I rated at 49. So much better than banks, but lacking in privacy features and having a problem with fungibility because Bitcoin coins can be tainted because of the history of where they were before or how they were used before. Uh, Monero, which is a privacy coin, rates 83 out of 100 on my scale, which is a really strong rating. And, and I like Monero and I've advocated it before. And I'm holding Monero, by the way. Uh, I've been doing a lot of testing recently, especially the last couple of months. And Monero does very well. It's got a couple of downfalls. It does store your wallet ID in its blockchain, which means eventually that wallet ID could be discoverable. It's obfuscated with other wallet IDs at the same time to try to mix and match. It's called like ring. I don't know what they call it, a ring tech, ring technology. There's multiple wallet IDs all at once, which also bloats the blockchain on Monero. It's larger than it should be. But who solves that is Epic Cash. And Epic Cash in my scoring system scores a 90, which is the highest score. So it's 90 out of 100. Uh, and it scores the highest on privacy and it's confiscation proof and so on because of its unique features. And it uses what's called the Mimblewimble blockchain, uh, which does not store your wallet ID on the blockchain. And uh, of course, for the record, I do hold. I, I hold Epic. I hold uh, Bitcoin. I hold uh, Monero, Zcash, Pirate Chain. I hold all these coins. Just to be clear, because I've been, I've been playing around with so many different wallets and so many different coins. I I have all these coins. Um, what Epic is amazing at doing better than anybody else is having full privacy, full fungibility, censorship resistance, confiscatability proof, or let's well, say confiscation proof. No one can confiscate it. And yet, it's a very small blockchain because it uses the Mimblewimble technology, which I think is a game changer that makes every other type of blockchain obsolete, from what I can tell. The Mimblewimble blockchain is so efficient, it doesn't store your wallet IDs, so your wallet ID can never be discoverable. It's not even recorded in the blockchain. So all the blockchain tracing tools can't trace your Epic Cash coins. It's impossible. It's physically impossible. I mean, electronically impossible. Um, the other thing about Epic is that because the node is so small, it's about one-tenth the size of Bitcoin for the same number of transactions. So it's very small. Right now it's only five gigabytes or something. It can run on mobile devices. You can run full nodes on mobile devices, which you really can't do easily with Bitcoin. It's, it's difficult with Monero. Monero is about 150 gigabytes, I believe, the current blockchain size which exceeds the memory of most mobile devices, by the way. But Epic Cash can run full nodes on most mobile devices. And you can download, if you want to use it, you can download the wallets for free. Just go to Epic Cash, or I'm sorry, epic.tech and click on downloads here. And if you click on downloads, you'll see here it is, Windows GUI wallet. You got the Mac OS, you have Linux, you have mobile versions and so on. Uh, I've been using these wallets and... Uh, I've also tested the restore function, which is very important because if you lose your computer on which your wallet is hosted, you can restore the entire Epic wallet simply by remembering, I think it's about 20, what is it? 24 seed words. Yeah, it's, it's eight groups of three words. If you remember those 24 words or if you write them down in a secure way, you can go to any other computer, type those in, your full wallet is completely restored. I've done that. I've tested that. It works. And that means that you can carry your Epic Cash in your mind, in your head. You can actually just memorize 24 words or tattoo it on your body somewhere <laughs> if, if you don't trust your memory or, you know, send it to someone in advance or whatever. Get to your destination. Maybe you're a refugee fleeing Venezuela or you're fleeing New York City because Eric Adams won't let you buy pork ribs because, you know, the war on meat, right? And you get to your destination. You don't even need a computer. You don't need a thumb drive, nothing. You just go in, you download the wallet, you type in the 24 words and Shazam, your whole wallet is there. 
everything you put in, all your value is in it. It's there. So, and I, and you can do that with other, there are other wallets you can do that with as well. Like uh, I think Exodus wallet, and there's a lot of different wallets where you can do that, but Epic cash works that way as well. And I've tested it and it works. Now um, we're going to be accepting Epic cash. I'm not asking you to in any way speculate in Epic cash or any cryptocurrency, just to be clear. I'm not about speculation. You know, I, these prices of various coins and tokens can be very volatile, by the way. They can, they can move a lot. They can go up and down quickly. Some projects fail. You know, some projects, I mean, a lot of projects have failed in the last you know, 18 months, right? Uh, projects can fail. Bitcoin, you know, I've always said it's technically backed by nothing physical, nothing in the real world. But what I've come to realize recently is that it is, it does have intrinsic value because of its utility. In an environment when banks are, are confiscating people's money and freezing people's money, Bitcoin has inherent value in the fact that you control it. Epic Cash has even more value from the sense that it's privacy. Epic Cash is like a better Bitcoin. It's really private money. It's fully fungible, which Bitcoin isn't. It's a lot more nimble because it's on Mimble Wimble, which we jokingly say Nimble Mimble Wimble. Um, <laughs> tongue twister from Harry Potter, I guess. But Epic Cash, it, from what I can see, is a much better Bitcoin. The only thing that Epic Cash lacks is... Uh, not as many on-ramps and off-ramps, not, not by a long shot. In fact, Epic Cash is, un most people have never heard of it. And so it's a really undiscovered, but vastly superior technology, which I find baffling. It's like, I looked at all these coins and, and you know, people told me about Epic Cash. Josh Sigurdsson told me about it right here on the show, actually, a couple months ago. And he was like, you should look at Epic Cash. And I said, okay, sure, I will. But I didn't expect that it would come out on top. I really didn't. And I started digging into everything and installing stuff. And I've interviewed, you know, the founder of Cordal, by the way, uh, Jason Crow, you saw right here on this channel. And I, I was installing Cordal nodes and I, I was buying and selling some quartz to see how that works. That's the coin of that realm, by the way. And uh, I started hammering uh, Monero and Zcash and uh, Litecoin and everything else. And uh, started keeping track of everything. What's working? What are the properties and built my scoring system, and at the end, boom, Epic Cash, highest score, 90. Which means it's not perfect, by the way. 100 would be perfect. Epic Cash isn't perfect. But it's 90 out of 100, and the closest coin to that is Monero at uh, 83. And then uh, Bitcoin is 49. So I was, I, I was kind of self-astonished at that. Um, but Bitcoin has its place, don't get me wrong. Bitcoin is the translator coin. It can be used for anything. Bitcoin's the universal crypto. You can translate Bitcoin into Epic or Litecoin or Ethereum or whatever else, or Zcash or Monero, whatever. So the best thing about Bitcoin is that you can use it to buy the privacy coins that you actually want to use to protect your privacy or to protect the fact that you even have a wallet. So just as a disclaimer, um, let me think about the disclaimer points. Number one, I do hold all these coins. Uh, secondly, we will be accepting all these coins in our store, healthrangerstore.com, the entire store. You'll be able to buy everything that we offer using Epic Cash. That integration should be happening soon after the changenow.io launch, which I understand is happening in the last day of May or early June. Shortly after that, we should have our integration in place and we'll be accepting Epic Cash in our stores which means, you know, essentially you can redeem Epic Cash for food or nutritional supplements or any of the things that we offer. Uh, in addition, I'm involved in some other projects and a lot of other major retailers, or at least retailers that, that I have uh, a line of communication with, they're going to be integrating Epic Cash as well for other products, survival items, uh, firearms accessories, um, communications gear, all kinds of things. So that's coming up over the next few months. Uh, my other disclaimer is um, I, I don't talk about price. I, I'm not a speculator. I don't encourage anybody to be a speculator. I don't want to attract speculators. Epic Cash, there's no target price. I, frankly, I hope the price just stays right where it is. Because I, I, for me, it's just, I just want to get out of the fiat currency banking system and have money that's truly private and usable. That's it. 
Uh, but it, it, it's possible Epic Cash can go down, it can go up. Like all these coins, uh, good things can happen, bad things can happen. I can't make any promises in any of those spaces. So I don't want to hear anybody come to me and say, oh, I bought, you know, 100 Epic coins and then it, it lost 20%. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, that's probably going to happen at some point. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. Maybe more. Who knows? It, you, you can never tell with these projects. I'm not even saying to buy and hold it. I'm just saying get ready to learn how to use private money. When you want to make purchases and you don't want the government watching what you're buying, you're not even breaking any laws, right? You just want your privacy. You know, you're buying food. But the government has no right to intercede in that. Then you need to use a privacy coin. That's all. Learn how this works. So download the wallet, install the wallet. It's free of charge. Uh, if, you, if you have a way to contact me, I'll send you some coins so you can play with it in your wallet. Or if you know anybody else, send each other some coins around and, and you can play with it and you can learn how this works. Send and receive. Oh, and then the other exciting thing forgot to mention is that on brighton.com, we're going to allow every content creator there to enter an Epic wallet receive address. Uh, in your dashboard and then well i guess i can't really bring up the dashboard here but then anybody can tip you using epic cash because your qr code will be visible and your epic uh, receive address will be visible on purpose and it doesn't by the way it doesn't compromise your wallet because this is not like bitcoin where everybody can track you based on your receive address this is different epic cash is different your public receive address does not it doesn't reveal your wallet. It doesn't work that way. It's truly private. So people will be able to tip you with Epic Cash on Brighton.com. And that tip goes straight to you, folks. It doesn't go through Brighton. doesn't go to me. I don't touch it. I don't even know about it. it doesn't even touch our servers, by the way. It goes peer to peer from them to you. And you can tip somebody else. And frankly, uh, as soon as we get that feature launched, I'm going to go I'm going to take my mobile wallet and I'm just going to start tipping a bunch of people all over Brighton who have good videos. That's one thing I'm going to do. So if you download the Epic Cash wallet and you, you know, wait for this feature to roll out on Brighton.com and you put in your receive address there on your dashboard, uh, you should expect to get some coins from either myself or other people at some point. You're going to get some Epic coins. And then what you choose to do with those coins is your business. Do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to spend them on our store, you can or not. You spend them somewhere else or send them to a friend or send them to the Canadian truckers. And guess what? Justin Trudeau will have a freaking fit because he doesn't know that you did that. Or if you want to donate to the RFK Jr. campaign, maybe I should talk to his people and see if they can accept Epic. I'm sure they'd be open to the idea, but I can't speak for him. So we'll see. I know he's accepting Bitcoin. Probably should accept Epic, too. Maybe the Trump people will accept Epic, right? So this has utility, and that's why we're integrating it, and that's my announcement today. And let's see, is there anything else I, I meant to cover on that? Um, no, just, just look, I, personally, I, I've even posted this on social media. I'm, I'm emptying my savings out of uh, the fiat currency banking system. Because, yeah, I have some savings over the years. You know, uh, I do get paid occasionally a salary <laughs> when, when things go well. And so I have some personal savings. And uh, I'm just taking that out of the banking system completely, completely. I'm going into gold and crypto. That's it. I'm going into gold and crypto. And I'm spreading it out. You know, some of it's Epic. Some of it's Monero. Some of it's Bitcoin. Some of it's gold. Some of it's silver. That I'm just being transparent. That's what I'm doing. I don't trust the banking system at all. Bunch of freaking crooks, cartel criminals, incompetent lunatics at the banks. They can't even do math at our local bank branch anymore. I don't know what's wrong with these people. They can't even do math. Meanwhile, Epic Cash is building advanced encryption systems with the most elegant, almost like alien IQ math that's just so amazing. It's light years ahead. Our banking system, our fiat currency banking system is run by morons in America today. True morons and crooks that's who runs it and i'm sorry if you work at a bank but if you do work at a bank you know what i'm talking about you're surrounded by idiots these people can't even do basic math it's on i told you the story before i told you the story where you know i had 
Okay, vice president of a local bank came up to me when I was in there. So, oh, Mr. Adams, um, you know, we, uh, you know about money. So, uh, answer this question for us. I said, okay, what, what's your question? Again, this is, the, this is the VP of a local bank branch comes up to me. So, what's the question? She says, well, we're having a debate here among the staff in the bank, uh, all the staffers here, and we couldn't figure out if you, if, if you have $100,000 to put into a CD, should you do one CD? And at the time, I think the CD was paying 2% or something. She was like, should we do one CD that pays 2% for the full amount, $100,000, or should we do like 10 CDs that pay 2% of $10,000 each? And I'm thinking, like, is there, a, is there a hidden camera? Is this a trick question? Like the bank VP is asking me a basic financial question that the answer is obvious. Um, uh, hey, uh, you know, I don't want to be um, condescending uh, VP, bank VP, but, you know, 2% is 2%, whether it applies to 100,000 times 1 or 10,000 times 10. It's the same freaking 2%. You're the VP of the bank. You would think that you would know this, but no, 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 they, they don't know anything. All they do is punch buttons. They have no idea. They don't understand compounding interest, the rule of 72, nothing. Our banking system is run by the most insane lunatic morons imaginable, and I'm tired of dealing with them. I am sick and tired of dealing with these lunatics. And so I'm, I'm moving into a system of money that actually has smart people in it. And frankly, that's crypto. That's decentralized finance. You know, and I, I understand it took me a while to get to this point. And yeah, I, it took a little bit of anger, a little bit of frustration, maybe more than a little getting pretty pissed off. Um, to finally realize that decentralized finance is the only option for money at this point. That's it. I'm going to convert freaking everything, everything that I can in my business, in my personal finances, on our platforms, tipping systems, donations, everything that we do is going to, I'm going to move it all to decentralized finance to the extent that I can. And I'm sorry I didn't see this sooner, but I guess I just took a little more punishment from the central banks <laughs> before I finally got the message. But I get it now. I get it. And I'm, I'm fed up with the fiat currency system. And that, that system is broken, by the way. It will collapse. It is a complete bankrupt system. And I don't have any faith in it whatsoever.